We finally found the perfect deck for Lothraxian the Redeemed. Some of you may have already forgotten about a certain Knights of the Frozen Throne Paladin weapon called Light Sorrow. Whenever you lose Divine Shield on a minion, you gain plus one attack. And obviously, with Lothraxian, the synergy is pushed to its absolute limits. The rest of this deck is filled with various amounts of ways to be able to throw down recruits such as Stand Against Darkness, Air Raid, and Day at the Dark Moon Fair. The whole point of this deck is just to throw out as many as possible, and if you're lucky enough to have Pyromancer in hand while you're doing these combos, you can immediately get rid of the Divine Shield in order to provide insane amounts of burst immediately. If you guys are interested in this deck yourself, feel free to check out the deck code in the uh, comments below. I also stream whenever I can on twitch.tv slash clarkhillscream, so if you'd like to see these combos live, that is the best place to be able to, to watch that content. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos. If you guys enjoy the clips, we'll see you for the next video. This is literally perfect. Okay. So uh, I'll I'll uh, put this on the uh, I'll put this on the stream after uh, after this game because like this is uh this is going extremely smoothly. We just need our opponent to like not make this minion ridiculously big. Cuz as soon as we can play this and maintain our uh, our curve, we're like in the clear. This also <laughs> corrupts this. Dude, let's go. We have the buff. Is it in-game or in-tracker? Wait, what do you mean is it in-game or in-tracker? He's from the new waste added from the Shadowlands and he's uh, something of a tree person? I guess trees would sound like that. <laughs> Kerpura correct? Oh my god, stop making this ridiculous. Well, I mean, we have to go for it. Next turn, we have a full board of... Uh, well, not a full board, but four... 1-1 one, one Divine Shield Taunt Recruits. And then we can even make more of them with this. The weapon starts getting ridiculously big, and then I can just play Liberal Hope. But this guy's going pretty hard for damage. Am I going to be able to keep up? I don't know. Is it... Oh, the, the EX, EXP. Sorry, I keep forgetting that you keep asking about the tracker. Uh, it's... It's not that I can see it, but like if I literally just do the math from like it starts right here, like it, it's it's right next to the gold. It tells you how much experience you have, and if you just do the uh, do the math, you're able to uh, to find out. Honestly, I should do this. Like this is already kind of difficult to deal with, and then this weapon becomes massive, massively thick. By the way, we're just gonna sit, and I'm like even if he gets rid of like this with. Can another consume magic. We're not dead. We could play this for healing. I actually think we start stabilizing now. We have the really thick light sorrow. And he's been pumping this up the entire game. I was kind of worried about it. But now it's actually not a threat. Like boop, 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 boop. Hits me for six, sure. But then I heal back up and then get an 8 8 with taunt. And also a Divine Shield. Which synergizes even more with the weapon. Fun fact. <laughs> I kind of wish I could play the Alidor. But I feel like Alidor into this is a little risky. Because I'm going to need healing. Oh my god, even more outcast cards. Okay, well, ooh. Ooh, if I had Pyro right now, this would be insane. So let's see. These have essentially five attack. I could split it here and here. Play Librum of Hope. Get an 8 8. This is still kind of a problem. Do I knock it? I, maybe I should knock this out. That's actually a good move. I can knock that out because I have just enough attack to deal with it. And something else that I can do is also play this here. Kill this. Liver of Hope. And now we're going to have a 9-3 weapon after he attacks this. We play this into this for even more taunts. And if we want, we can play Righteousness. Let him get it to 10 attack? Exactly, dude. Like, I don't even care. 
Like, we killed his minion. He's gonna have to rebuild up the board. And even with, like, a consume magic, like, he doesn't have that much attack on the field right now. I'm just kind of hoping he doesn't have, like, an AoE. No AoE and we're, like, in the clear. I beam. Oh, dude, he's desperate for options. He's using a lot of, uh, a lot of resources here. Oh, delicious. Just enough to get through. Well, I'm sorry, buddy. Like, just enough is not gonna be, uh... <laughs> it's not gonna be good enough here. Check out all of this Divine Shield. Massive weapon damage with Paladin. Kingsbane, eat your heart out. This is 11 attack on turn 8. 11 attack on turn 8. When you draw the cards in just the right order, it works beautifully. <laughs> Feral killed you because achievements? <laughs> Alright, so we won that game. We went to 87. Okay, so we had, what, 37 last time? So we were at 36. 36. 